What's up, YouTube? It's Ambitious Vapor coming at you with another review. Today's review is on the Stingray X clone. So, uh, I purchased this Stingray X clone from eBay. Uh, it is a clone by SXK. Um, it's white, uh, but it is fully copper. Um, it also comes with the drip tip that is on there now. I have the Plume Veil version 1.5 by Tobacco on there now. And um, it's, it's a great mod. It's, it's definitely a great clone, I think. Um, let me give you some, uh, let me give you some, uh, specifications. <clears throat> it's made of, uh, well, this one's made of pure, uh, copper. Um, this one's stainless steel, but this is made of pure copper. It comes with a hybrid adapter, uh, drip tip, and it fits your 18650, 18500, and 18350. Uh, batteries. I only use 18650. I don't deal with the other ones. Um, it's not reverse threaded. Um, this is not reverse threaded. I have not had this back out on me at all, which is great compared to my other uh, like Nemesis and, and things like that. Um, so that's great. It's magnetic firing switch. It is not uh, spring loaded. Uh, what else is there? 22 millimeters in diameter. Um, it comes with an adapter, and it also, oh, I totally forgot about that. It comes with an adapter, and there we go. Here it is. I didn't show this in the close-up, so it comes in this box. Well, the one I purchased off of eBay, I think it was from uh, Vapor Trends. That's where I got it from, Vapor Trends. Um, the, the shipping was horrible. It took forever forever to get it because the snow wasn't their fault but comes in this box uh drip tip in here uh your your mod here and this comes on the mod and your adapter will will come in this hole uh nice box nice presentation um let me get into more of the speci specifications. So what I know of is um, this is copper. Uh, it's um, some some come with uh, I guess silver plated copper, um, but Tobeccos had uh, stainless steel contacts. I don't like stainless steel contacts. I like copper contacts. I like copper mods. I think this is a great mod because it is copper, but you don't have to deal with the smell or the patina on your hands or anything. It's you can get it color coded, like white or black. Um, I think the stainless steel, I don't know if it's actually stainless steel and then copper inside or the whole thing. I'm pretty sure the whole thing's stainless steel. Um, but this one has a uh, copper uh, connection on the top cap. And then there is a, that's a floating 510 copper pin. Um, I like this. This is good. But, you know, more threading, more connections, more voltage drop. So I use the hybrid. Um, I show that uh, in the um, in the close up. So um, yeah, let's dive down and uh, take a close up and take a look at this bad boy. Why don't we? Hey, so what's up, guys? It's uh, back to the close up. So this is the Stingray X clone by SXK. Um, I have the uh, plume veil on the uh, on the top with the hybrid adapter uh, I like the hybrid adapter because it's less voltage drop um, this is a pretty good this is a pretty good uh, Addy if you ask me um, I seen the Tobacco version as well um, it's all copper inside um, this one has the copper contacts this is brass. This is the brass hybrid adapter with two vent holes. Threading is buttery smooth. Um, works great. So it has uh, 18650, 185, and 18350. Um, I just use uh, 18, 
650. Um, so this is the top part. It's white coated uh, copper. All the threads, buttery smooth. Makes a little noise. Not too bad though. Um, not too bad at all. And no, no, go. Damn cat, man. Uh, this is the the locking ring. Oh, it's not working right now, but it's a magnetic switch. Let me take off the magnetics. Let me take off the switch. Uh, it's the bottom of the switch. That's the bottom of the switch. Uh, Delrin. It's copper. This doesn't back out at all, if you guys need to know. Um, I never really have to tighten that up. It never backs out on me. I, I think it might be not reverse threaded, but it works great. Um, this is the locking swing, locking ring. Um, this has started to patina a little bit, is the, the copper inside. Sorry, guys. Fucking cat is uh, all over this. Thanks. Thanks, Cap. Um, sorry about that. So, uh, that's the inside. Those are the threads. Buttery smooth. Side of Patino a little bit. That's the label. Uh, the numbering on the back. The Tobacco version has that silvered out, which I kind of liked. Um, but this one, I just decided to go with this one. Uh, just I've heard better reviews about this over the uh, Tobacco version. So, um, yeah, guys, uh, this is the um, broken apart Stingray, and let's take it back to FaceTime, vape on it, talk about it, do some voltage drops, and I'll see you soon. All right, we are back. We are back. So that is the I didn't show the drip tip in the close up. Um, the drip tip is here. Uh, it's silver with the copper little engraving on the bottom. Um, but uh, it, yeah, it's a nice drip tip. Um, I don't really necessarily use the top cap of my Puma Veil lately. I haven't been using this. With the, I've been using a chuff top. This is how I've been, been rocking it. It's been working great. Um, so let's take a toke and I'll do some voltage drops. And uh, and whatnot. I'm I'm vaping on the uh, Milkman uh, e juice right now. This juice, man, is 30 mils. I just got a little while ago. It's almost gone. It's great juice. Great juice. It, it puts out great. Um, freshly charged battery in here. Uh, it is the 25R Samsung. Um, so let's do a let's do a voltage drop test on this bad boy. Here's the uh, the hybrid adapter. Let's see what this is kicking out at right now. Four point oh two. Three point six one, did I get there? Three point three point five nine. I don't want to waste this juice, man. It's so good. Three point five seven. So four point oh two. Three point five seven. So it's got a point. Ah, oh, what is it? Point uh, five five. A point five five voltage drop. Right? Yeah, I think the I think the three point five eight. 
That's accurate. 4.02. 3.58, 4.02. So it's like a point, yeah, it's like a point, uh, uh, you guys, I'm not doing good math right now. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but that seems like it's a uh, little less than 0 .5, 0 0.5 voltage drop, um, which is good. Um, but I remember them, when I bought it, it said it was less than a 0 0.2 voltage drop. Um but I guess that's pretty good, uh, 0 0.5. 0 0.5 voltage drop with the hybrid adapter ain't bad. Um, I, I'm liking this, this is my go-to. I have the Nemesis as well, the copper Nemesis. Um, but, uh, and I always got the Tobacco version. They're about, I got this for about $33 on eBay. Um, now you have to be careful though, because some do, some do come with silver plated contacts like Tobeccos did. And if you get a silver, excuse me, if you get a silver Stingray X clone, it's probably going to come with the, um, the silver plated contacts as well. Um, it fits flush on all my mech mods, all my RDA, sorry. Um, and the quality of the vape is great. Um, like I showed in the close up. Uh, the number serialized on this is white, but on Tobeccos it's silver. Um, the metal they use, it seems a little bit different, um, than this one, but, you know, ultimately I, I saw a lot of views, I did a lot of research before I purchased it, and, um, I've heard that this one is a little bit better than Tobeccos. So I purchased it, and I'm very happy with my purchase. The threads are buttery smooth, like I showed in the close-up, um... What else can I tell you about this mod? Um, it hits great. Uh, yeah. I mean, see the vape production. Now, I'm gonna do a review on this soon. I was gonna add it to this review, um, but you know, I think it's I think it's good to have this on its own review. It's not. It's supposedly 99% VG, but um. Yeah, while I'm vaping on it, the Milkman, it's supposed to be like a fruit tart, uh, milky, you know, fruit tart type of vape. Um, I, I don't know how it, if it tastes like that or not. Uh, the taste is great. I love this stuff, and it's cheap. It's like $18. Um, it's $18 for a 30 mil. Now, the 30 mils that they give you are a little bit bigger than normal 30 mils. So when you get it, it's kind of not filled to the top top. It's filled to the top of the labeling. Um, it comes in it comes in this box, which I thought is really cool. The presentation is kind of awesome. Um, you, I, I purchased this off of uh, dripclub.com. And... Um, contains no milk which <laughs> it's called the milkman it's crazy but um yeah it's a cool little uh it's six milligram 30 mils 18 dollars comes in this nice little thing they have a competition on the back where you can you have to blow it like a five foot cloud and you can be sponsored by milkman and all that stuff but uh this juice is great um it says on the back it's 99 percent vg um it is thick I'm not going to lie, it is thick and it has great flavor. Um, so maybe they use 100% VG with the nicotine and they add a lot of VG and the only PG is the the um, flavoring. But uh, yeah, I don't know how you can get 99% VG. I mean, still, that'd be like 1% flavoring. Uh, I, I don't know, but that's what it says. But, you know, to each his own, nevertheless, it is a good juice. I highly recommend this juice. Um, I purchased this off of Drip Club, um, and I was a little skeptical, but uh, this stuff is great. It sits a little weird because of the bottle. In the bottle, you know, it came a little rough. Like, it's got, like, you know, some rough coloring. It looked kind of beat up, like they overstocked. It was sitting for a while. I mean, I don't know. It's great, though. Uh, $18 for 30 mils, and it tastes like that. You can't beat it. Um, but, yeah, I, wanted, I give that a... a I give that like a 9 out of a 10, 8.5, 9 out of a 10 for a VG liquid. I love high VG. It has great throat hit, perfect throat hit. 
It's got great flavor. It's got great vapor, vapor production, and uh, it goes great on this as well. Um, yeah, so I wanted to throw that in there. Um, I might as well add it since I have to vape, and you know, might as well throw it in there. But yeah, guys, um, Stingray X Clone by SXK, highly recommend. I would give this an overall. I mean, this doesn't back out on me. Ugh, magnetic, I love it. Hybrid top cap fits fine. No threading issues. Uh, I'd have to give this for a clone. Uh, it's up there. 8.5. I'd say it's an 8.5 um, out of 10 on this. Um, yeah, it's great. Came nice. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, like, share, subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next review. Vaping is gone and vaping is on.